fast and you do what you want I guess I'm doing what I want Hope you know what you want Hello, my name is Shakira Watson and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi. If you're it, um whoop. my name is Shakira Watson and welcome to my channel. Um so as you read by this title, I am going to attempt to vlog for the first time and it will be my labor and delivery vlog. Hopefully. <laughs> um so basically today is the day before Thanksgiving. So today is November 23rd. Today is November 23rd, um, 2022. <laughs> I am currently 37 weeks and five days. So I'm about to be 38 weeks. Um, so yeah, I just came on here just to kind of show you guys the process of what I'm going through in my last days of being pregnant. Um, I am scheduled to be induced on Tuesday um so yay so definitely next week I will have a baby girl um her name will be Serenity Marie I'm so excited to meet her this is my first baby if you don't know me um this is my very first baby um so yeah this is all new to me so I'm so excited I am a little nervous about being induced though so <sighs> I'm tired I'm sorry, I'm tired. But I am so ready to get this baby out of me because I can't sleep anymore. Like, my body is just going through a lot of changes. I actually had a a scare about Sunday. Sunday morning, I was having contractions back to back. About three minutes apart, lasting for one minute. And I had to go to the hospital, which is like 45 minutes away. Um... And I I was having them about two and a half hours before I even went to the hospital. So, <clears throat> yeah. And I got there. And basically, I was only one centimeter dilated. And I was, so, I was so sad. They gave me half a bag of fluids and also some pain medications. The um, contractions went away. They slowed down. Then they finally went away. And they sent me home around 4 o'clock in the morning. Excuse me. I went to the doctor on the following Monday, which was two days ago, and I am two centimeters, 70% efface, and she's in negative two position, so she is getting ready. My mucus plug is out. Um, I do have um, some spotting. Right now, at this point, it's just like any day. Um, today, even, uh, I had some mild contractions early this morning. Um... And just a few while ago, but nothing is just like staying yet. So I've been trying to do some interventions. So yeah, I've eaten pineapples. I've eaten dates. I've drank raspberry tea, but I only drank that one time. Probably finna go get a cup uh, now anyway. Um, I have a breast pump. Um, and I've been pumping consistently and, you know, the breast stimulation, of course, I've been doing that consistently. I, I did it like 15 minutes last night. I waited for about two hours. Then I did it for 10 minutes, woke up this morning. I did another 15 minutes and then just a few minutes ago, I did it for 10 minutes and I have gotten nothing. Well, a while ago when I did it that last 10 minutes, I did get a little cramp, but it was, Something, of course, didn't stay again. But, so I'm going to try to drink some raspberry tea today. And, also, when I'm pumping, I, nothing came out. So, I don't know. I did read that that doesn't matter if anything comes out. It's just the breast stimulation itself that releases the oxytocin. Um, but, yeah, so nothing has come out. Um, I don't know if I'm doing it. I know my flanges are way too big, so I ordered some more. But, nothing came out in yeah um i also tried other things you know me and my boyfriend <sighs> nothing so my last option really is to castor oil that's it <laughs> uh because i really want to do it if i can make myself go into labor you know i want, want to do that instead of getting the medication um but hey tuesday is right around the corner so we shall see 
So I'm about to go fix me some raspberry tea and let's see if that works. Um, I'm also going to go on my bouncy ball and I might do the breast stimulation again today. Please excuse all the cords and stuff, but this is the breast pump that I have. It is the Amita Maya Joy. Um, these phalanges are like a 24. Way, way too big for me. So, yeah. Um, this is the one I use. Uh, it's kind of annoying trying to sit on here, but this is the one I use. Really simple, really, um, yeah, really simple. I just press it on and... Yeah, it starts pumping. And this is the stimulation. And I leave it on the stimulation because, of course, like I said, nothing is coming out. The other method is the expression. And like I said, once again, nothing is coming out. So I just leave it on the um, stimulation. And I crank it up to, like, a comfortable. Of course, like I said, this is too big for me. So I can go to a 6 and it be still comfortable. So, yeah. This is her little bottle area. Oh my goodness, I have a lot of bottles. Well, I don't have a lot of bottles. Um, this one is another breast pump, actually. I got this one for free. Um, but I did buy these four for her. And these are like for milk storage, as well as these are the ones I'm going to use um, for storing in the fridge. But yeah, um, these are accessories disclaimer um do not drink too much raspberry leaf tea be sure to ask your medical provider your OBGYN, if that's safe for you to do any of these things that i'm doing um because everybody's different um i was high risk but now i'm good to go they said they gave me the green light i can do whatever i can do to get her out so that's what i'm doing so make sure you get that green light before you do those these things that i'm doing Okay, so I'm just checking in. Um, it's November 24th. Happy Thanksgiving. It's already passed, but I know. So I have decided that. Um, yeah, so I pump. Let me, let's go back. I did some more breast pumps. Nothing worked. Had some little cramps. Nothing really stuck. So I decided that tomorrow that I will be doing castor oil. <laughs> So, yes, I'm going to actually do it on camera, too. So, we probably have a baby either tomorrow or the next day because I'm just kind of tired. She is sitting solo on me, and it's just so irritating. So, yeah. I'm doing the castor oil tomorrow. Uh, so, yeah, I can't wait to show you. And I've seen a, a lot of people's comments on the castor oil video that they're ready to do it. But um, a lot of them don't be full term. I'll be 38 weeks tomorrow. So, that's the only reason I'm doing it. Be sure that you are not before 38 weeks because technically you're not full term until you're 38 weeks. So, be sure that, you know, you do wait until you are full term because, you know, your baby's lungs is not finished developing. Um, and she's or he is not ready yet. So, I know you're impatient you only got a couple more weeks but be sure to wait if you do want to do the castor oil part oh i will catch y'all up whenever i get the castor oil tomorrow none of the stores was open i was gonna do it today but none of the stores are open so i'll be doing it tomorrow i'll check in then all right we got the castor oil oh still doing this thing yes bro <laughs> Yes, bro. <laughs> yes, bro. I have realized that I really need a new camera because this one just do not be given. Everything's just so blurry. But that's okay. Anyway, so <clears throat> it's the next day. I did not record myself taking the, what's it called? Castor oil yesterday. I took it around 930 um, I 
I had minor contractions or Braxton Hicks and they were just so mild um, and they were very irregular. So yeah, nothing. Right now it's what, 12 o'clock the next day, November 26th. It's actually my dad's birthday and I really want to have her today. But So today is November, November 28th and nothing i am going to be induced tomorrow so i'm still trying something i did go ahead and so i found out basically that the castor oil dosage that i took was hold on basically the castor oil the castor oil dosage that i took was incorrect I basically didn't take enough so I did retry that two tablespoons full and like that's the max dose I think you can do so I went ahead and did that well ago You guys have some some socks that she can put on. Yeah. It's okay, so we can get that up the girl on you as fast mm -hmm. as we can. She wants a little bit of new band if you guys want to get. We them. have it. Yeah, we have Perfect. it in our pocket here. So. So whenever you're ready, mm -hmm. we're gonna get you up into the wheelchair, get you to your room, okay? Yes. I'm in the hospital. <laughs> so. I started having contractions around 12:30, um, and I didn't make it to the hospital around till around 2:30, I think. Um, I'm just now getting my epidural. Yes, I got epidural. I'm about seven centimeters dilated. Um, it's rough. <laughs> It's rough. That's why I could not. I just could not pick up my camera. My nurses have been super nice. Um, everything is good. My nerves are so bad. I'm literally shaking right now. Um, but yeah, <coughs> she's zero station right now. <coughs> Bless you. She's zero station right now. So I mean, she's very very low. Um, the only thing I feel with the epidural is just like a lot, a lot of pressure in my bottom. Um, just a lot of pressure. When I got, I don't know if I said this already, but when I got to the hospital, I was already six centimeters dilated. Y'all, when I say it took them so long to get my medicine, get me to the room. Well, I don't know. It might not took that long, but to me, it took a long time because them contractions was no joke like it was no joke i literally got regular medicine before i got my epidural because it was that bad it was that that bad um my lips are so dry my mouth is so dry from the uh castor oil um yeah it's so dry because i think i was a little dehydrated <sighs> yeah, it is currently 6 a.m. Um, right now, and I'm just excited to see my baby now because I couldn't even think about her beforehand. I just knew I was in pain, and listen, I don't know how people have multiple children. I don't know how they have multiple children, y'all. This hurts so, so, so bad. I feel like my body was about to rip apart, literally. So it is about eight o'clock, seven fifty actually. Um, my water just broke. <sighs> just trying to get comfortable, still haven't slept. Um, my legs are just feel numb. Um, don't really like the feeling that I have. 
um, cause I still feel my legs and I still feel the pins and needles. So, um, yeah, my nerves are so shot, like from all the pain. I got to seven centimeters before I got an epidural. So I think my nerves are pretty shocked. This is why the camera is shaking. No more children from me. That's perfect. Two, three, four, keep going. Five, six, great. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Deep breath. Come right back at it. Ready? And push. Good. 